got a great guest in studio today to talk about the economic development of Mason County. Jennifer Barry is in studio. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. <laughs> and uh, we're talking about some good things. Uh, firstly, tomorrow at the Civic Center. Mm -hmm. It was a change. We had to move it. We had so many people that wanted to come that the Colonial House, while beautiful, really only fits a finite amount of people. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. So everybody's going to be gathering at the Civic Center again. RSVP, please. 426 mm -hmm. The doors open at 7. Registration begins at 7.15. We will have breakfast. It's a great time to network before we get started at, at at eight. <laughs> Happy Monday. I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, still reps uh, Drew McEwen and Dan Griffey will be there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Talk about the most recent legislative session. You were in Vegas. I was in Vegas. Now, mostly all secrets usually stay there, but we're going <laughs> to... We're going to talk about them. Talk we're going to open Vegas, Vegas up. What was going on <laughs> down there? What were you down there for? So, Lynn, our board chair, James Thomas, and I went down for the retail trade show that happens. I don't know if anybody knows a lot about it, but I had a vague idea. It is huge. Okay. There were 38,000 people there converging on the wow. convention center, right? They had classes they had a leasing mall they had a shopping area that you could go and kind of the shopping area was more I guess they called it a marketing mall but it was more the place where you go and look at services that could help you recruit retail so uh, okay. your analytics if you want to purchase those have somebody talk about your retail try or your retail gap analysis uh -huh. that works as as one of those sorry <laughs> We'll edit all this out. Don't worry, don't worry about that. <laughs> and it was just so big. Sure. Since it was my first year, I did most of the classes. Lynn, it was her third year, so she took our board chair through the leasing mall and, and talked to the, to the different companies that we thought would be a good fit for us. So is this something that groups like an EDC would go and benefit more so? Or let's say I'm just... Jeff and I want to maybe start a business. Is that a place where I would go and, and learn things or is this? Um, probably not unless your business was retail or commercial brokerage. Okay. They do have classes that are specifically around um, lease negotiations with retailers, anything that that could affect your business in that. If you were just starting a business that is way too huge, you would get lost. Sure. <laughs> so um, if you are interested in um, kind of opening your eyes to what it is that retailers are looking at, that was probably the, okay. the biggest thing for me was walking through that leasing mall and going up to somebody and saying, you know, they've got handouts that say, this is what we need in order to even consider coming to your area. And we've got a lot of really good checks in that box, but you hit that population within a three mile radius. Oh, so you've the... got to refocus the conversation to talk about, you know, we have 180,000 people between Ridge and Kapowson coming through here this year. The Ridge expects it to double this year. Wow. So we've got a lot of people coming into the county. So we've got to look at it less of like, here's our population base. This is going to be who it is. Even up north, you've got a lot of people going into Bremerton, you know, so they do their shopping up there. What's going to pull them back in yeah. if we can get retail into Belfair? So, so other than the population base, which is kind of on, in some aspects, a, a benefit as well, I would imagine, uh, for, you know, congestion and things mm -hmm. like that. So where do we sit and, like, within either the state or Mason County in general looking like we have a fair amount of positives pluses on those we've categories? got we've got some good positives we've got some um, if you look at the demographic that's sh shopping now you've got about eight, this is America as a whole you've got about 85 million Millennials they are outstretching my generation they're outstretching baby boomers i think baby boomers are the next one at about 60 okay. million so they're looking for a different type of shopping experience they are looking for an experience they're not the oh yeah 
got to go to Target, yeah. <laughs> you know, make a quick run, go back. When they're out there spending their money, they want to be able to record it on social media. They want to be able to talk about, you know, what it is that they've spent their money on, which is what Ridge is a good partner for and yeah. Kapowson is a good partner for. But um, how do you build the retail around that? So there's a big shift happening in the retail industry that is trying to kind of refocus their energies on on kind of the experience shopping and what does that what does that mean it's different for for every group yeah huh yeah <laughs> i mean I, I so experience shopping i mean is that like going into brookstone and sitting at one of these massage chairs or something or I, I guess i don't really understand what or or being able to go somewhere for a weekend and um you know, I'm going to stay here at Alderbrook and look how beautiful it is. Kind of what we've thought of as um, destination shopping. Oh. So, you know, what can I do while I'm here at this place? Or what's going to make me talk about going back to that place? Oh, okay, so I want to go, I want to go because I, I want to race cars at the ridge and right. now i'm i'm here i'm here what am what i going to do, do right. in the off time and we've got a lot of really great things to do we've got artists that have classes that pull in people yeah. from all over the world they have to stay in olympia i know that we've talked about hotels being a big need here sure. but being able to talk with the providers of those hotels and saying you know your everyday person that lives here isn't going to use that. What do we have that's going to pull it in? State Patrol has weeks where they need yeah. coverage oh, during yeah. the week. So that's that's, totally right. that's an excellent pull because the hotel can, I mean, honestly, they can fill any weekend. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going to pull them in during the week? What are we doing to pull in those buyers, those shoppers, those tourists during the week, especially of that close to 200,000 visitors that we have yeah. north and south? We've got great fests. We've got festivals. We've got things that they can come and do. The touch tanks at Oyster Fest. I mean, how many people have ever yeah. actually gotten to do that? So being able to market that as an opportunity to come, but keep them here. So they can come, but then they leave to go and shop. So yeah. how do we keep them here? And yeah, it's it's a it was a bit of a different focus and how prepped you need to be when those retailers are ready to move. We went in this year with properties, partnerships with the port. We put together a site plan for that whole 101 corridor right there. That was more interesting to them instead of us just saying, you know, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. We got lots of visitors. Yeah. Come and see us. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. So now you have to talk to the board and the members about all this and coming up with plans. To... It's still kind of refining our recruitment okay. plan. If, if retail is a focus, what do we need to do? The site plan was great. We'll need to do that up in Belfair, pull in the different partners. That was a big push, was partners, partners, partners. The developers and the retailers need to know that you're not the only one interested, that when they come into town, they're not going to have issues with permitting. They're not going to have to say, you know, oh, this is a great piece of land. Oh, it's already, oh, it's not available. No, you can't, you can't be behind them when they when they come for yeah. their site visit you need to be ready to go and say yes we can do this yes we can do this let's get it started boom oh, <laughs> yeah. so there's a lot of back work yeah. that you don't always see huh. happening to to when they get here being able to put our best foot forward and say yes come and visit us what and the support of the locals really helps i i don't know how many urban counties have said what you have a weekly radio spot you get a good our, come on and talk about our radios that. just don't care <laughs> you know being able to have that support huh. from the community it's a huge bonus cool well good and mm -hmm. uh good information as well these were good secrets yes. from vegas yes. to share and we'll have more we're gonna put a whole big post up on our website so and again tomorrow the legislative breakfast it's uh food out at 7 30 the program at eight you got to rsvp 426-2276 or info at choosemason.com jennifer from the edc on today thank you much Good thank to you see for you. having me have a great day you too